We've hit a critical point in the Riviera build. I'm investing 300 grand to turn this 1972 land yacht into a supercar to show it off at SEMA. All right. The plan is to make this Riviera look more like a ZR1 Corvette. Slam it on a new chassis and suspension and give it bronze wheels and big tires. Whoa! There we go. The guys have less than five months now to get it all done. We're just talking about things that are really time consuming and we're really already under the gun. The guys can make progress assembling the custom frame that we got from Chris Dawson's Chassis Works. How long until the frame's put together? Tomorrow. No, it's good. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's a great answer. We'll stick with that. Hey, let's knock it out. The parts are made to our specifications, but we have to weld it all together and dial it in perfectly straight and level. Hit it, hit it. The frame, it's super universal. Yeah, we have a front cross member. We have the rear independent all set up. All the control arms are figured out. We just have to kind of put the pieces together for our needs. I mean, they're, the car's wider than most cars. The car's longer than most cars. So yeah. Chassis Works does a great job about leaving extra in every direction. They totally provided us with what we needed. It was awesome. We're really excited to be building this car, but with less than five months until SEMA, for once, Richard may have bit off more than we can chew. Everything is a little longer than it should be, so we can cut it to size. I'm just gonna chop the extra off. I'll add the little brace in. We'll set the body on, make it to the next step. Oh, uh, man. I gotta cut the stupid bar back off. Jeez. <laughs> These things are so big, it's unreal. Our priority for today is to get the measurements for the wheels, and that entails putting on the front suspension and putting on the front body panels. Fenders, core support, making sure they're in the right place. Then we can mock up the wheels. OK, you just stand there. Look pretty. That's what I do best. Hey, come here for a sec. Something doesn't look right. We wanted to be a lot more hammered than that. That right high is strong. The car should be sitting a couple inches lower. See, that's what sucks about stopping. Yeah, because we're lost. We'd be pulled off for a few weeks, just kind of, it kills your flow. And that means we have no idea why the ride height is off. So we've got to take some time to figure it out, because this is not the vision we discussed with Richard. This sucks, dude, because we're not moving forward now. All right, maestro of the interwebs. What's up, Richard? We've got to build build a crescendo to this. OK, so then we can kind of post a picture of like the badge. Um, it is like an R, so it kind yeah. of go along like with you and kind of. I have some R's in my name. Yeah, you tease it like crazy. But I want it to build up. I mean, boom, 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 so that when we show up at SEMA, it's like Yeah. Cool, all right, I'm in. Get it online, and uh, I'm going to go talk to the guys. They're going to be pumped. This cool. thing's going to SEMA. It's impossible. It's not going to happen. <laughs> that doesn't work. No, 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 no. Listen, a 72 Riviera is not something anyone has anything off the shelf that can go in this car. You have a custom chassis that every measurement has to be sent to them, and you're wanting the whole chassis on ground like in three or four weeks? Why is everybody circling in on me like cockroaches? Well, we're giving you the news that the Riviera is not going to make SEMA. <laughs> no. I already got those guys up there all hyped on it. It's not happening. We've had a long time to build this car. I got social media in there already all over telling people it's coming. And we're not talking, oh, we'd have to cut a few corners. It's not happening. You want a supercar, it's a super amount of time. I'm trying not to throw up. Where's Bass? You gave him a couple of months off, remember? Oh, yeah, he's going to build his other But It's got to be done right, and it's got to be done once. But be patient. I'm not patient, because SEMA doesn't move. So they're upset. I'm pissed off. I walk off, you know, before I just end up blowing my top. So our new plan is we'll head to SEMA with a bare metal roller and we'll submit as unfinished. We'll have to finalize our diffusers and rockers and make sure our wheel tubs are perfect. Jason will have to place the KTEC motor and the rest of the powertrain, while Mike and the paint team apply a clear, smooth sealant to protect the bare metal. On top of that, there's headlights, wheels, and a ton of fab work to smooth out. Because this thing's going naked, every blemish is going to be under the microscope. There may be much more work here for an unfinished build than most of the builds we've done at Gas Month. FEMA is no joke. It's the industry's hotbed for the best builders and the biggest automotive minds in the world. And when you bring a car to SEMA, finished or not, you're going to get opinions, lots of them. That means we'll have to nail every inch of this build. Josh. Yeah. Uh, I just realized something. Uh-oh. You're making me worried. What happened? The other day when we were measuring the offset for our custom wheels, Josh and I noticed that the ride height for the Rivy was a couple of inches too high. 
we wanted to be a lot more hammered than that. See, that's what sucks about stopping. So I dug out the specs we used for our custom frame and noticed the issue right away. It sucks. I was thinking we could cut the frame, move it up. It'll offset from the pipe, because they built everything to be my measurements. Dude, are you kidding? Yeah, I think Richard won't be thrilled, but I think it's our only option. Well, whatever it takes, I think we do it, because I want this thing to be hammered. If anything goes wrong, you're giving Richard 50 grand for a new custom frame. Obviously, it's not ideal to modify a custom frame that costs nearly 50 grand, but Richard has a vision for how this car is supposed to sit. He wants this thing low and mean like a Corvette ZR1, and the only way to get there from here is to cut it. My ear turns. And once we've made those cuts, we lift the suspension, <laughs> along with the cut part of the frame up. The sound effects make it happen. Yeah. Which, in turn, lowers our ride height by two inches. Boom. As if it never happened. How's it looking? Coming along real nice now. Yeah, we've uh, maximized our wheel and tire size and trying to get the measurements off to Budnick. Rad. We actually had to raise the whole suspension up in the front two inches, yeah. so we modified these front frame rails. So a lot of the attitude of a car comes from its wheel and tire setup, and I wanted as big a wheel and tire setup as we could get crammed under there. And I didn't mean that that meant we were going to cut up Chris Dawson's custom chassis, but I guess that's what the monkeys took it. I'm digging it. I'm glad to see he's still excited about this yeah. build. I'm excited Good. to see how limber he is. Not bad. So I got this knocked in. It's yeah. all lined up. OK. The Chad. Came bearing gifts. What do you got? Wheels for the Rivy. Oh. oh. <laughs> These are Rivy They don't specific. call me OBS is what you're saying. Let me see. Ooh. Holy yeah. cow, dude. And they're raw, Great. so we can Those paint them whatever awesome. we want. Yeah, I left them raw with the polished pieces. God, that's Thank amazing. You. See, I'm the guy that, like, as a kid, would take the model out of the package and put the wheels and tires together. Oh, <laughs> that is so sick. Dude. Mm. Long ways to go, huh? Yeah. yeah. Richard just hasn't given us enough time, but. OK, well, we just got to really, really push. Yeah. Really we are so far behind. The bottom line is we have to get this Riviera to have the look and performance of a gentleman's hot rod supercar that Richard wants for SEMA. Deadline's coming soon, and we just got to do as much as we can. I stole the out of Richard's car. You just hit that out of Richard's car. Yeah. They come out pretty easy. <laughs> well, it's here. Might as well use it. First, we're going to take care of that look and give this car the mean face that Richard's looking for. It fits the hole so nice. It is. It's a good, it's a good size. You got it? Mm-hmm. Putting in my angry eyes. Yeah, I like that a lot. Cool. Like you said, check it off the list. It fits. Done. So now that we've got the headlights figured out, it's time to get down to the heart of the matter. And by that, I mean the new K-Tech engine. Hey, look at the monkey drug in. Oh, sweet. John's got the motor. Ooh. So now we're going to unpack the new K-Tech engine and get ready to stab it. There's a 1,000 horsepower in this crate. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Oh, this thing. That's insane. Wow, OK, let's get this thing open. We'll marry the transmission to the engine. Yeah, you're real close at this point. There it is. Don't break it. Come on, it's easy. It's a lot of money dangling. I know, right? Come watch your control arm. No. All right, so it looks pretty good. Yeah, I dig it. Let's see what it looks like. It's beefy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it just dropped in there. Like a glove. Like every time. Sweet. Are you clear? It's awesome. I've got the inch clearance. Yeah. Like, like you couldn't have planned that Dude. any better. Wow. You see it? And that is pretty great. Yeah, you got an inch gap. Do you really? Yeah. We planned it that way. It's clear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rock and roll. All right. I love it. Let's get it done. While the guys are still doing their metal work, although we're not going to paint it, we can still get it where it, we can clean the metal up and it looks good when it's sitting at the show. What we're doing here is leaving the car naked and showing that we're not hiding any flaws because the car is going to be perfect. The idea is unorthodox, it's risky, and can totally blow up in our faces. But that's kind of the gas monkey way. I got the guys all fired up on getting the Riviera to SEMA, albeit under construction. But I think that's a cool way to show off our work. And it's going to look really good in raw metal. The last couple of days, this thing has gone miles compared to where we were. No, it's looking good in raw metal. The 1972 Riviera, it was the gentleman's hot rod. We were going to take it to SEMA and show it off. With 10.5 invested in the car and $300,000 budget in only five months to do it, it was definitely the most ambitious build ever. As a matter of fact, it was one that if we pulled off, I was even going to be impressed. 
but obviously we didn't. To get this 1972 Buick Riviera the supercar status that it deserves, it took a ton of metal work. To make this thing look like a badass supercar, we chopped the top. Just a little rake in the front to get rid of the way it was leaning uphill, brought everything down a little slicker, a little faster. Then we went to Budnick wheels. They're super massive. We've got 20s up front, 22s in the rear. And to house those things, we built some wicked awesome tubs. And quick performance for our complete third member. Top it all off, we got some huge diffusers for that supercar look to get the air out from underneath this bad boy. Man, what a stance. We've already had the car sandblasted, and the guys are already done with their metalwork. As pretty as it will be fully dressed with a super paint job, we decided to let everyone see under the clothes and reveal all that custom fat work. Eventually, we'll have the time to get this car painted the battleship gray that we've all picked out. We all love the color, and it's going to look great when it's set in the scene. When we set out to turn our 1972 Riviera into a supercar, we knew we needed a power plant that was worthy of the jobs. We called our friends at K-Tech, and they hooked us up with this one-of-a-kind Generation 5 LT4 engine paired with a Magnuson supercharger. This thing is 1,000 horsepower and puts out 1,000 pounds of torque on top of that. Ambitious project? Absolutely. Bitchin' project? Absolutely. Going to SEMA? Yes, but under construction. But I don't mind. This car is going to be bad. Watch for it. Look out, SEMA. Here we come.